day and welcome to Suns TV. Coming to you from bustling Burley Heads as we count down to our round 18 clash against Carlton at Metricon Stadium. Here's what's ahead on the show. Dion Presti is having a breakout season. He's this week's player feature. Plus, we have favourite sons talking tactics and we catch up with Sarah Scholler to talk about the increasingly popular village markets. One of the great things about Burley Heads is that there's a feast of cafes and restaurants just like this one, my local canteen. And trust me, the coffee here, seriously good. Now, each week we put together a collection of quality performances and we want you to nominate your host plus quality performer of the week. It's easy. Jump onto our Facebook page, click the Suns Gold tab, choose A, B or C to be in the running to score yourself a Suns merchandise pack. Or thanks to Host Plus, the people to get in touch with if you're looking for a quality industry super fun. Time now though for Suns Gold. Bennell elected not to pick it. Hall overran it. Sinclair. Hall. Stolen back. Jake oh. O'Meara. Oh. Quick flying shot. He's all class. No doubt about that. Russell to Ablett. And he takes off. Hall. They get the lead back. Ablett the sidestep into trouble. Bennell. Trestia. About to get shut down. Bends it back. Instant reply. And the crowd rise again. Every time yep. Collingwood's was kicked to goal, they've been able to bounce straight back. Jared Brennan found himself in the full line by himself. He says, hit the line. Oh, Gary Ablett wanted out in the full. As Boundary he... up by said it hit the line. I think he wanted to go to the replay. Yeah, to get his 41st touch, he wanted. <laughs> Wits in the right. Oh, here we go. A dodge, a sidestep. Oh, don't tell me. He a is a man. superstar, Gary Ablett. <laughs> and he puts Collingwood on the ropes. The man is just a freak. He's extraordinary. A freak. He's like he's got a different gear to everyone else. He doesn't fall over and he doesn't fumble. He ran around the back of the stoppage and as soon as he got near it, you knew where it was going. Dane Beams got caught ball watching. And then he goes around Maxwell like he's not even there and splits the middle. This guy is just in a class of his own. As soon as he picked it up, you knew what was going to happen. You just Goal. put it straight in the book. If I can The Gold Coast Suns now have even greater access to live in-game scores, team and player stats and the latest club videos, all from the touch of a button. The official GC Suns mobile app allows you to watch the latest goals, match highlights and the post-match media conference direct from your phone or tablet. And if you live for Dream Team, we've got you covered. You can even vote for the best Gold Coast Suns players after each round. The 2013 Gold Coast Suns app is absolutely free and available by searching Gold Coast Suns in the iTunes app store. Dion Prestia has been in fantastic form for the club this season. The pocket rocket proving to be a real handful for the opposition. After every season, um, you will, we'll go in individually with the coaches and all the fitness staff around us, and um, they'll pretty much just give you what you need to go home and work on in the off season and um, what you've done well this year, yeah, what you can improve on. So. Um, it's pretty intimidating having about oh, 10, 15 blokes just telling you what you've been doing right, what you've been doing wrong. You kind of know what they're going to say as you're going in, but um, yeah, there's, a bit, there's sometimes like unexpected stuff that you don't really think that you're going to be able to hear, but um, yeah, they, it's, it's a talk that you probably need leading into an off season as well when we got about six or seven weeks away from the club, and that's called an exit meeting. Yeah, well, that talk probably really changed my career around, especially even though I was early on in my first year. But um, yeah, it was a talk I probably needed and a talk that um, yeah, has really set me up now for ho hopefully the rest of my career. Yeah, my first year, I was probably a bit overweight and uh, struggled a bit maybe in my first couple of games and was in and out playing reserves and seniors. So um, yeah, I had to really find my way and had a good talk with uh, our fitness staff who were here in our first year and um, they pretty much told me don't come back overweight for our second year. So um, yeah, I had to go home and really work hard and yeah, really push myself that, that pre-season probably much earlier than I should have. But um, yeah, it really, got, it really got me in a state where I can um, compete at AFL level and um, it's been paying off uh, this year. 
Puts it up too high though. Pressed here. It's not his go. He got rid of Sloan. Umpire says that's okay, Dion. Have a go at your second goal. Oh, oh what a go. Oh. have become a huge attraction for locals and visitors to the Gold Coast and I'm joined by co-founder Brainchild, the innovative Sarah Scholler. So tell us the idea behind the markets. And the markets are just about providing a platform for local designers and artists to showcase their products and being an event for young people and families to celebrate that talent. It's very much, you know, a part of the new Gold Coast. It's a real kind of a creative hub on the coast, I reckon. Yeah, I think um, locals have really embraced the market since we started four and a half years ago. It just indicates that there was a, a need for an event like this. Okay, it's time for a shout out. Where are they? What are they on? So the village markets are on the first and third Sunday at Burley Head State School and fourth Sunday at Paradise Point Parkway. Thank you for joining us today, Sarah. Time now though for Favourite Sons, brought to you by Patreon partner Southport Sharks. G'day Suns fans, I'm Trent McKenzie. Uh, last week we had a bit of a team building exercise at our paintball, so let's go have a look at some other highlights. So let's uh, talk to some of the boys and see how they went. We're here with the skipper, Gazza. We're talking about paintball last week, mate. How do you think he went? I was actually pretty good. I got shot plenty of times. <laughs> Suns fans, we're back here with uh, Tom Nichols, a NAB Rising Star nominee from a couple of weeks ago. So he thinks he's in pretty good form. I noticed you had a, a hoodie on while you were playing just to cover up your, your scone there. I remember, <laughs> I remember last year I was on the opposite side and I could just see your head popping over the top of the, of the barrel and I just popped one right on the top of your head. So. Yeah, it might have been a bit of friendly fire. I don't know who was shooting anyone. Well, I do because I was um, actually next to Harley Bennell. Was he and uh, <laughs> I was crying a bit, yeah. I ran out of bullets a few times and yeah, yeah couldn't help myself. So he was actually shooting you in the back. So if you yeah, didn't know where it would come from, that's what, that, that was where it was coming from. Jeez, that's nice. They treat the first year players well, Fanny, don't they? <laughs> that's it, Suns fans. We're out of time. Um, you just heard from a few of the boys playing paintball and that we're not very good. So, yeah. I can't finish it off. Just say thanks. See you next week. Thanks, Suns fans. See you next week. Talking Tactics brought to you by ASAP Glass. The people to call when your glass is cactus. Zan Maxwell, Boston could get and go. Campbell Brown's inside 50 for him. Puts it in front. Brown, oh he turned his man inside out. This would be huge. Oh, boys, up. I'm not sure he's ever kicked one bigger than this. He gives it off. Brennan! Yeah, I mean, you always remember your first one, of course. Um, don't like to remind Matty Primus of that too often, but... Um, yeah, look, I mean, against the opponent in Collingwood, yeah, I mean, I think it's, our, it's been our biggest uh, win, if you like, in the scheme of who we played uh, and how we went about it. I think that's the encouraging thing. And full speed, 
needs to finish the deal, long to the square, spectacular. I mean, there wasn't a huge amount um, of difference between, um, you know, game on the weekend versus our three previous to that but it's only a 10 or 15 percent swing and all of a sudden can, you know the ball being spoiled to the ground and being run out of our forward line all of a sudden was marked or was contained inside our forward 50 which able was able to us for us to put on scoreboard pressure I think this week gives us some confidence going into the game um, yeah we've had a good form against them but it's only one game new coach different systems different players all those sorts of things but what it says to the boys if you compete hard enough for long enough you give yourself a, a chance to beat any side and clearly we're able to do that against Collingwood and if we do that against Carlton you give yourself a good chance to beat them as well They've certainly got a seasoned midfield. Um, you know, Simpson, you know, he's the one that breaks lines and, and, and covers some, some ground with his ball use and his run. Um, Walker's sort of been used more down back. Um, they've got a handy group of um, small forwards that I think kicked six or eight goals between them on the weekend. Henderson, whether he plays back or forward. Um, obviously, Chris Judd, Murphy leads by example and by deed. So, you know, Gibbs as well. I mean, they've, they've got a whole host of superstars if you like and, and throw Cruiser into the ruck as well so um, you know we're gonna have to be our best um, come Saturday to, to knock them over. TV is proudly brought to you by our presenting partners, Brand Gold Coast. Find out more at brandgoldcoast.com.au. Dreamweavers, world-class event production, audio-visual, lighting, theming and experience creation. From 100 people to 1,000, Dreamweavers will take your event to the next level. Tourism Gold Coast. The Gold Coast is Australia's undisputed home of entertainment, constantly wowing holidaymakers with its variety of things to see and do. Take time to explore the Gold Coast. The Suns community team have been on the road the past few weeks, travelling all over Queensland, including some isolated and remote locations. Let's take a look at what they've been up to. Yeah, this is, the, this is the third year we've been up into the Cape. I suppose that there's, a, there's a number of reasons why we get up into these regions. Um, it is part of our talent zone, yeah, but probably, it's probably secondary. Uh, it's more about this no boundaries program and our ability to make difference uh, to the students in these, in these areas. So, the messages around the importance of going to school and staying at school, and even if you want to become an elite athlete, um, Michael and Jack have talked to the kids about how they had to stick with school and they had interest in being an AFL player. And then the importance of, of eating really well and just remaining active um, is, is really the key to, the, to these programs. Our children, I think, are, are quite good at sport. They enjoy their sport and they're, in particular, quite good at ball games. So I think the opportunity to play a variety of ball games is excellent. Always got a smile on their face and, and uh, happy to ask questions and um, you know they've been great so far. You know, a big part of our training is to have a healthy lifestyle because of all the training that we do and um, yeah, we're just trying to help you guys and pass on the message as much as we can. You know, I've told my stories in the past, you know, from how I grew up, you know, Brooms, you know, it's not, it's not a big town, it's pretty little, you know, and the move that I had to make away from home, you know, and you know, you can really see the, see the kids looking at you and thinking, you know, that that I know, like they know what I'm talking about and they've been through the same sort of thing so it's good to tell my story and just reflect back, it reflects back on them and hopefully you know they, they can keep going through school and graduate and you know just take it back to their younger brothers and younger sisters. Well I think one of the most exciting things to see when we visit these communities is that this isn't just a boys game here, we're getting just as many girls, um, they ask the questions, they know about the game and when it comes to running onto an oval and grabbing the ball and having a crack, the girls are just extraordinary. Be there to cheer the Gold Coast Suns on as they take on Melbourne at Metricon Stadium on Saturday, August 10. We need you to take your seat and show your support as we look to beat Melbourne on home turf. 
Tickets for the Melbourne match are on sale now, starting from $25 for adults and just $5 for kids and are available from ticketmaster.com.au. Get your tickets now to book your seat and remember that together we are stronger. If you're jumping online to secure tickets to Suns games, make sure you check out the other exciting events Ticketmaster has on offer. Here's this week's Entertainment Fix. If you're heading to the sunny coast, Australia Zoo is well worth a visit with over a 1,000 animals and 14 free wildlife shows every day. And Ticketmaster can get you there. Live at your local is back at the Parkwood Tavern and Albany Creek Tavern in August with rap metal band 28 Days smashing out their hits in their renowned high-energy shows. And if you like giant apes and live theatre, check out King Kong at Melbourne's Regent Theatre. It's on until August 18 and is a massive crowd pleaser. Finally, if you're looking for a Prezi that'll bring a smile to anyone's style, check out the Ticketmaster gift card. You can load it up with up to $200 worth of Ticketmaster tickets and it's a fantastic present. You can find them and tickets to a feast of great entertainment and sporting events at ticketmaster.com.au and that's this week's Entertainment Fix. Yeah, that off season was pretty much just uh, doing doing the program, but doing a bit extra, and um, just because my mum lo loves cooking pastas and snitchels for me all the time, so I had to tell her to stop that and start making me salads, which was um, yeah, it was it wasn't fun at the time, but now when I look back, it uh, yeah, it pays off real well. And then that was our first year we went to Arizona, feeling pretty good the first year in Arizona, but. Um, uh, probably, probably by mid-year, my second year, I um, broke down, had a few injuries and that. So um, yeah, when I came back for this pre-season, I already had that base set, and um, yeah, I've been pretty good since. When we're knocking off teams like Collingwood, have been in grand finals the last three years. Yeah, it really gives us a lot of confidence knowing that we can play against big, big teams like that and. Um, yeah, well, it's just, it's just going to be exciting next few years. And then that's probably one of the main reasons why I signed on. And um, so, yeah, I've got three years to develop again and hopefully we'll uh, be playing finals in those years too. Wild, emotional. The there biggest club in Australia has been beaten. When I signed on, I always wanted everyone else to sign on with me and we um, build something really well here. You know, there's a lot of talk about the boys going back to their home states and there was a lot of talk about me going back. But um, yeah, I, I pretty much knew like what I was going to be doing all along and um, yeah, it was just about getting, the, getting everything right at the time uh, with the manager and with the club as well. So um, yeah, it was good to see Jager as well sign on for the same time as me. So yeah, it's really exciting for our midfield and um, yeah, hopefully all the boys can uh, keep, keep the trend going and uh, yeah, we can build something really special here. The Gold Coast's most loved footy venues are great locations to host your next function. We can easily host 30 people or 30,000. Skill Park and Metricon Stadium both offer unique spaces tailored to suit any event. You want pies? You got it. Fresh seafood? No problem. Oh, and did we mention the view? With award-winning caterers, the unmistakable surrounds, premier function facilities and diverse spaces, we will make your event one to remember. Visit stadiumfunctions.com.au for further information. Congratulations to all the players and officials who took part in the NQ High School's Championships in Cairns last week. The Far North's top youngsters got the chance to impress both AFL scouts and Suns Academy coaches, and there's some pretty serious talent coming out from up that way. Well done also to the Cooparoo Kings, who played their Round 13 clash against the Aspley Hornets for the Beyond Blue Cup. The Kings wore light blue jerseys that were auctioned off after the game to support Beyond Blue and raise plenty of money. And for the record, Cooper and Kings got over the Hornets by five goals. Remember, if you've got great stuff going on at your club or in your league, let us know and we'll try and get it on Grassroots Footy. If you want to break on the Gold Coast, and seriously, why wouldn't you? We've got a great deal thanks to Gold Coast Tourism.
Wake up to stunning ocean views when you stay at Crown Plaza Surface Paradise. Nestled between Surface Paradise and Broadbeach, you can lounge poolside before dining at Queensland's only revolving restaurant, Four Winds 360. Advanced bookings available from only $169 per room per night. Phone double five nine two double nine double zero. Quote, exclusive offer when you book. Thanks for tuning in. That's another edition of Suns TV all wrapped up. Remember, if you want to be a part of the game day conversation, hit up our Facebook page, send us your tweets using our game day hashtag AFL Suns Blues. I'm Jess Garrett. Enjoy your footy and I'll see you next time.